hybrid editing made easy. This real-life review is brought to you by ProShow. Motodex.com. Looking for ways to save a few bucks in your photo and hybrid photo processes? Want to get more performance out of your battery-powered photo tools? And looking to save the planet maybe a little bit too? Think about how many AA and AAA batteries we throw away each year as photographers. Lots of photographers try rechargeable battery systems, but they don't work out too well for them. That's because they bought the wrong batteries. Photo tools are different than flashlights and clocks and stuff, and they're going to need different batteries. We've completed a pretty hefty test of rechargeable batteries from the battery specialty retail stores you see, and from a few online battery specialty folks, and we bought them at Walmart and the grocery store and Radio Shack, and we also scoured eBay to see if we could get, <laughs> get some deals. Wait till you see this. And we found out there's a few changes that we need to make on our rechargeable system here at my place, and I've got a really great system on how you can save money with rechargeables, make your life lots easier too. He's Will Crockett. He's a pro photographer, owner, and chief tech advisor of a few large photo websites. The photo expert on GeekBeat TV. He's worked as a consultant with some huge companies in the photo industry. And he even gets to present some of his photo training expertise to the great men and women at the Pentagon. Now he's focusing on smarter ways to shoot and share hybrid imaging as he guides you into discovering mirrorless. First step, the basic AA batteries that you buy at the grocery store are called alkaline batteries. Now these are made to use once and throw them away. Now, I can buy a pack of 20 Duracell batteries at my Home Depot for 17 bucks. That makes it 85 cents per battery that I use once and I throw it away. Now, they also sell rechargeable alkaline batteries, but don't buy those. They stink. Rechargeable alkalines work 20, 30, 40 times. Their charge decreases every time you put them in there. They're horrible, really. The type of rechargeable battery we want to use as photographers are nickel metal hydride. Now they're identified by this squiggly little NIMH somewhere on the battery or on the battery package. This type of battery will cost two to three bucks per battery and you will need a charger of course for this battery. But these batteries will deliver at least one and a half times more power per charge than your alkalines do. And when you move forward into rechargeable battery system, particularly when you use something like a flash that's hungry for batteries, you'll find out that they will give you maybe 700 recharge cycles. That's right. Rechargeable batteries on a really beastly device like a flash will last 700 times. You know, some batteries will actually go 1,500 <laughs> recycles. Well, if we calculate the cost of the rechargeable batteries and the electricity in your wall and the charger over two years, it comes out to around 11 cents for a rechargeable battery. Okay, rechargeable batteries are better, but you're not polluting the environment, they are less expensive. What's the deal? 85 cents versus 11 cents. Some photo devices, like flashes or LED on-camera lights, use a lot of power and they use that power quickly. Let's call these type of photo tools high consumption devices. And they do have a pretty big appetite for electricity, so we need to feed them with batteries that can deliver that kind of electricity. That's going to be the standard nickel metal hydride batteries. And we want to use a smart battery charger. Now, if you have an old Radio Shack battery charger from way back in the 80s, you know that one that's in that box in your attic next to your Ario Speedwagon 8 tracks? That's right. Don't use that on modern batteries. That's made for nickel cadmium batteries, and it will smoke your new batteries. Throw it away and get a new one. Rechargeable batteries are measured in a goofy number kind of like this. That's 2,400 milliamp hours. 
Basically, the bigger that number is, the larger the charge the battery will hold in one recharge. So for me personally as a photographer, when I use AA or AAA batteries in a high power consumption device like uh, Manfrotto LEDs or Nikon SB800s, right? I'm partial to a brand that kind of rise at the top of our test called PowerX. I'm going to use these 2700 milliamp versions and they will last twice as long in my LED light than disposable batteries. And if I use these in my flash, I notice my recycle time on my flash is actually faster with a rechargeable battery. Now, there is another brand that I have seen in our tests and I'm still a little dumbfounded. It's Sanyo. Remember Sanyo? Didn't they make kind of mediocre TVs? No offense to Sanyo folks. Their batteries, the black double X batteries, are phenomenal. They are high consumption batteries and they have an unusual trait. They have a ability to work at full power until they get right to the end of their battery life and then wham, they fall right down to the floor, making them really perfect for flash. I should mention here too that there are many times when we use our quantum turbo batteries using a quantum cable and connect it to our speed lights when we got a whole lot of popping going on. Nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries deliver power that is measured at 1.2 volts. Now that is a lower than your basic throwaway disposable battery, which are 1.5 volts. But the throwaway batteries do drop down their voltage quickly once they start delivering electricity. But you will find out that some odd photo devices will not work with rechargeable batteries because they need that little bit extra voltage right off the top. So if you have a remote control or some sort of light that just won't work with your rechargeable battery, don't sweat it. You're just stuck with the disposable batteries for that. It's not like you can switch different brands of rechargeable batteries and get that higher voltage just the way it is. What about the unusual batteries, like that little chubby one inside your flash meter? Should you get a rechargeable version of that? Nah, skip it. For other photo devices that only use a little power at a time, or for photo tools that are going to sit on a shelf for a couple of weeks without being used, here's where we need to use a slightly different battery. These are low power consumption devices, right? So they need a low discharge battery. So tools like your Pocket Wizard or your FreeX Wire Wireless Triggers or a wireless computer keyboard or a wireless mouse, they only use a little bit of electricity. Those are the type of tools that we need to feed with the low discharge batteries. Now you can identify those as different than regular nickel metal hydride. They are nickel metal hydride, but when you look on the battery, you look on the label and you see pre-charged or ready to use or low discharge, that means that's a low discharge battery. Now we found two brands that floated to the top of our test. One is Enerloop, the other one is Emedian brand. Both of these are low discharge and I suggest picking up the highest capacity, remember in milliamp hours, that fits your budget for the low capacity ones too. For chargers, you can get a simple inexpensive charger for 30 bucks, or you can get a more advanced charger for about 100 bucks. The pricier models will give you more options and they will monitor your battery's capacity to let you know when they need to be refreshed and recharged, replaced, whatever. Well, I'm only using AA and AAA batteries for the vast majority of my hybrid photography, so this $50 charger from PowerX works just fine for me with both AA and AAAs even at the same time. There's also a brand called Ansman that we think is really terrific. Now at home I've got a very different battery charger because I need C batteries and D batteries and even rechargeable 9 volts. So my system at home, very different from the one that's the studio. My suggestion, keep it simple so you'll use it all the time and have fully charged batteries on hand. Here is some tips for you to make smart decisions on your rechargeable battery system. When you buy new rechargeables, use a fine point sharpie to write the date on the battery. Also write the word low or high on the battery too. This will designate if it's a low power consumption battery or a high power consumption battery. Smart, right? This will help you down the road to figure out you know, which battery is which in case you forget. It also will extend the life of those batteries too. 
Also, organize your batteries in sets of two or four or five. Say your flash takes four batteries. Label those a, 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 so that you know that that set of batteries will be used in your flash and then discharged, recharged in your charger all at the same time. Here's a tip on keeping organized. I use these little plastic transport cases to set the tip of the battery to indicate if the battery's charged or not charged. Here's how it works. When the tip of the battery is to the left, the battery is exhausted. If the battery's in the case with the tip to the right, that means it's fully charged. That means everybody in the studio should know if the battery's ready or not ready, right? All right. I'm also very good about coming back from a shoot and putting the batteries into the charger to get them recharged right away. Now, if I have them sitting in the cabinet for a week or so, I will pull those batteries out of the case, put them back in the charger before a shoot just to top them off. There is an issue with rechargeable batteries called self-discharge, and it's something you need to be aware of. It's not a big deal, just heads up. When you use regular nickel metal hydride batteries, they will self-discharge actually a lot. You let them sit a month with a full charge, you'll come back and there'll be a lot of charge gone. When you use the low discharge batteries, they don't have the self-discharge problem that much at all. And of course, neither do your disposable alkaline batteries, right? Well, when I come back into the studio and I find out that somebody didn't put the batteries in the right way or they're pointing multiple ways, I've got a solution for that too. What I do is I find out, well, pretty much which intern did it because you, know, you can't blame a video guy or a photo assistant. You gotta blame the intern anyway. And I've got this perfect technique for balancing the battery on my finger just like this and firing at the back of their head. You know, I've clocked that at 62 miles an hour. I swear to goodness, you pop somebody in the back of the coconut with one of those little rechargeable batteries, they will remember how that case system works. When you step up to premium rechargeable batteries, there is one little thing I need to tell you too. When you use them in, say, your flash, and use that flash really at high power, nice and fast, you'll find out that the high capacity premium rechargeable batteries will get hot. Yeah, not just warm, they're gonna get hot. So when you pop them out in order to put in some fresh batteries, just heads up. It's not gonna burn your hand or anything, but they can get hot. I'm sure there are plenty of good, honest sellers on eBay of rechargeable batteries, but I looked at some of the low-cost 50-cent batteries online there, and I noticed they also have some knockoff packaging brands that look like the ones you buy in the grocery store, but there's one or two letters that are changed with the same graphics to make you think. All right, there is no savings here. There's a lot of danger on eBay when it comes to rechargeables. I found, in fact, on eBay that I got suckered in and I bought counterfeit batteries. These are not Duracell batteries. They're crappy old nasty batteries with a Duracell sticker on them. How about that? Not cool, right? Maybe rechargeable batteries is one of those things that we shouldn't be buying on eBay. That's where I'm at. Now, at risk of sounding like a commercial, because this is not, there is one place that I've been buying my rechargeable battery stuff from for years, and I'm very, very happy. They're called Thomas Distributing. Now, their website might look a little funky. Don't be nervous. They are battery professionals. If you have questions about which batteries are right for you and which charger's right for you, these are the folks that can help you out. Email them or better yet, call them. They'll actually answer the phone and, and talk to you. I know, hard to believe in this day and age, right? Tell them you're a friend of that idiot, Will Crockett, and you need some help with your recharger. Now, trust me, they will get you what you need at a fair price or you send it all back, right? They're a service company. We've been dealing really long time with these folks and we do not get a commission for your sales. Don't think I'm encouraged you to do that because I'm going to get paid. We don't do that here in the world of Crockett. Also, particularly with the large capacity rechargeable batteries, don't just plop them into your pocket or your purse if there's any sort of metal objects in there. I gotta tell you, I've had, swear to goodness, I've had a photo assistant take a handful of batteries, put them in his pocket. In his pocket were a couple of coins and one of those big paper clips. He sat down over lunchtime and we saw the smoke. Oh my gosh, I gotta say, it was funny to watch him jump around and scream, but it could have been extremely dangerous. There is a lot of power, particularly in these high capacity capacity rechargeable batteries. So put them back in that plastic case I showed you, not only for organization, but for safety too. 
Rechargeable batteries are just one part of the hybrid photographer's universe. If you'd like to learn more about hybrid photography, join us. No matter what kind of camera you have, you are welcome at discovermirrorless.com. It's filled with vlog posts that are free. There's also more in-depth info at $9.99 for some streaming videos. And click that connect button and join us. So every week we'll send you a little bitty email update that says all the new info that's waiting for you, no charge, on both Discover Mirrorless and our big professional photo website, shootsmarter.com. Hybrid editing made easy. This real-life review is brought to you by ProShow. Photodex.com.